Zaris explained for us a little bit earlier and how that enters into the defense case and the prosecution's arguments here. Um, Aaron O'Brien, let, let me ask you something that I, I think that we sometimes might be glossing over here, and it's important to talk about this for our viewers' sake. This is a retrial. How much, if anything, are these jurors told about what happened in the first trial? Nothing. They won't be told anything un, un, unless the only time could be uh, if a witness's testimony differs than prior sworn testimony and is impeached with that testimony, it, it could possibly come out that it was a prior testimony at a trial. And why is that? Well, it's just not relevant. It, it's not a fact. It's not uh, relevant to their decision, and um, it, it shouldn't come into uh, play in their decision. So, Christine, then, the reality is, and, and even though it gives us a great deal to talk about when we're comparing first trial with second trial, in, in the legal sense, basically, it's as if the first trial never existed? Sure. But you know what? For the prosecution, I think, um, if I were doing this, I would be starting with, in my mind, working on my summation. How am I going to get this jury to see that he committed this crime? And I've been thinking about it when we, we saw little bits and pieces of his testimony, and everyone's talking about just how he lives so even all the time and everything. He's never yelling. He's very calm. I think my approach would be that he snapped. He snapped, and he killed her. And then his compulsion for detail fell apart because this was not something that was on his list in his order in his life. And he was even, even, even. Something happened. He snapped. He killed her. And you know what? He did a sloppy job of putting it all together because it, it was out of order so for him. So use that defense argument and basically turn it on its head and use it exactly. against them. And say. you know now because you know what he's going to say because we were talking and, and Aaron agreed too. This is a good witness. It's hard to convince him. You won't even bother trying. Mm -hmm. He's going to testify. So you as the prosecutor now know what you have to deal with and I would be working from that and working backward. And You've got your roadmap all. this time. Well, our thanks to our friend Christine Grill. It's always nice to see you. Thank you. Joining us here. We'll look forward to having you back again with us sometime very soon. And also, thanks to Aaron O'Brien. Hey, Aaron, thanks for spending some time talking with us. We appreciate giving us a little bit of a local expertise down there. We'll look forward to seeing you again also. You take care. Thank you. Thanks. That's all the time we have today on Trial Heat. Both sides with Vinnie Politan and Kimberly Guilfoyle Newsom coming up next with more from the Florida courtroom. Thanks for joining us today. I'll be back.